Alright, with the Turkish get up. Make sure your arm is fully extended. Wrist is straight if you use a kettlebell. If you use a dumbbell, it won't matter about your wrist. Just keep your arm extended. Reach to the ceiling. The hand that's down is the leg that goes back, so it's a backward lunge. If you can't keep your arm extended, keep it at your chest. Backward lunge. And then from there, you keep your arm extended. Your hand goes on the floor by your knee. You take your foot, bring it forward, extend the hips to the ceiling. Sit down, hand off, use your abs as you come down. Arm up, knee up. Use this hand to help you up. Push the elbow through the floor. Push your foot through the floor to help you up. Think of an oblique crunch. So think about doing an oblique crunch to the side. From here, lift your hips up. Bring your knee, slide your knee to your hand. Foot's on the floor. Straighten yourself out. Back, here's your lunge, split squat. Stand up. You can do it at the weight. Hand up, backward lunge. Hand goes by your knee. Hips forward. Extend the hips so you get more of a glute out workout. Come down. Reverse sit up. Take an oblique crunch. Reach it to the ceiling. Extend. Slide the leg on the floor. Slide. Slide. Knee comes to the hand. Foot's like a windshield wiper. Pivot. And then extend up. And then you can switch arms. It's up to you. The hard part is when people come up. They have a hard time with their arm keeping it extended, so it's the bend. If it's bending, just stay in this position right here. This is the hard part, right there. Do it out of weight if you can't keep the arm extended. So to you get from the side. Turkish get up. You don't need weight to get a workout. 